Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Block. And in this video, I want to show you how you can perform coordinated still image movement in VSGC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to perform coordinated still image movement in VSGC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now to demonstrate this, I've already imported a demo image in the editor. So this is my demo image present right here. And first, what you need to do is you need to double click on your image. Next, you need to go to video effects, go to transforms, select crop and now click on OK. Now currently the duration of the crop effect is the entire duration of my demo image in the timeline that is 10 seconds so i would like to reduce the duration of the crop effect to just two seconds so inside the duration option let me write 02.000 and now press enter on the keyboard now look inside the crop effect settings which is present inside the properties window and you will find this button called crop tools so click on this button now before we move any further i would like to show you this particular chart which i have created so this chart is very important i want you to write all these coordinates somewhere in your notebook or in your notepad i will write these coordinates in the description box below as well that way you will find it easier to copy paste it in your notepad so these coordinates are very important and these coordinates will help you perform coordinated still image movement really quickly so as you can see we have total of six columns center top left top right bottom left bottom right and full image and these are the coordinates which represent the particular column so let me just go back to my editor first what i would like to do is i would like to show you the center column so inside the center column the coordinates are 25 25 75 75 so let me just go back to my editor now inside left currently zero percent is there so delete this value and instead of zero we will write 25 inside top currently zero is there so delete this value and instead of zero we will write 25 once again inside right currently 100 percent is there so we will delete this value and instead of 100 we will write 75 and inside bottom once again 100 percent is there so we will delete this value and instead of 100 we will write 75 once again so now as you can see the moment I wrote 25, 25, 75, 75 inside left, top, right and bottom, the selection box is now positioned at the center. So that is what this center column is and the coordinates which are there inside the center column are. They will position the selection box at the center. Similarly, if you want to position the selection box at the top left corner these are the values 0 0 50 50 so let me show you so inside left let me just write 0 inside top once again let me write 0 inside right let me write 50 and inside bottom let me write 50 once again and now as you can see now my selection box is positioned at the top left corner on the screen similarly if i want to position the selection box at the top right corner i need to write 50 0 150 so if i write 50 inside the left option 0 inside the top option 100 inside the right option and 50 inside the bottom option now as you can see my selection box is positioned at the top right corner so similarly you can position your selection box at the bottom left bottom right and full image so 
full images the selection box will cover the entire image so at center the selection box is positioned at the center at full image the selection box will cover the entire image so using these coordinates you can easily perform the still image movement so let me show you so let's say i want to i want to create a movement from center to top left corner all right i want to create a movement from center to top left corner so what will the coordinates be so the coordinates will be 25 semicolon 0 this is center and this is top left and these are the coordinates inside center and these are the coordinates inside top left i want to move the selection box from center to top left so the coordinates will be 25 semicolon 0 25 semicolon 0 75 semicolon 50 and 75 semicolon 50 so let me just write that inside left i need to write 25 semicolon 0 inside top i need to write 25 semicolon 0 inside right i need to write 75 semicolon 50 inside right i need to write 75 semicolon 50 and inside bottom i need to write 75 semicolon 50 once again and now press enter on the keyboard now what will happen is the movement will happen from center to the top left corner all right so let me just play the video for you perfect so as you saw the movement happened from center to the top left corner from center to top left corner now let's say i want the movement to continue from top left to top right so what do i do i will add another crop effect so my first crop effect ends at 2 seconds right here i will add a second crop effect so let me just go to video effects go to transforms select crop and now click on okay decrease the duration of this crop effect to 2 seconds as well so inside the duration option you need to write 02.000 and now press enter on the keyboard now inside the crop effect settings click on this crop tools option all right now what i want to do is i want the movement to continue from top left to top right so what the coordinates will be 0 semicolon 50 0 semicolon 0 50 semicolon 100 50 semicolon 50 so inside left i will write 0 semicolon 50 inside top i will write 0 semicolon 0 inside right i will write 50 semicolon 100 and inside bottom i will write 50 semicolon 50 perfect and so now if i just play this entire thing for you from the start so what will happen is first the movement will occur from center to top left then it will go from top left to top right so let me just play the video perfect now let me add a third crop effect right after the second crop effect so let me just go to video effects go to transforms select crop and now click on okay now decrease the duration of this crop effect to 2 seconds as well since the duration you need to write 02.000 and now press enter on the keyboard now look inside the crop effect settings once again and click on this crop tools button now what i want to do is i want the movement to continue from top right to bottom left all right i want the movement to continue from top right to bottom left so the coordinates will be 50 semicolon 0 0 semicolon 50 100 semicolon 50 50 semicolon 100 all right so let me just write inside left the coordinates will be 
फिफ्टी सेमिकोलन जीरो फिफ्टी सेमिकोलन जीरो इन साइड टॉप द कॉर्डिनेट्स विल बी जीरो सेमिकोलन फिफ्टी इन साइड टॉप द कॉर्डिनेट्स विल बी जीरो सेमिकोलन फिफ्टी इन साइड राइट द कॉर्डिनेट्स विल बी हंड्रेड सेमिकोलन फिफ्टी इन साइड राइट द कॉर्डिनेट्स विल बी हंड्रेड सेमिकोलन फिफ्टी एंड इन साइड बॉटम द कॉर्डिनेट्स विल बी फिफ्टी सेमिकोलन हंड्रेड इन साइड बॉटम द कॉर्डिनेट्स विल बी फिफ्टी सेमिकोलन हंड्रेड एंड नाउ लेट मी प्रेस सेंटर ऑन द की बोर्ड एंड सो नाउ वंस अगेन लेट मी जस्ट प्ले दिस एंटायर थिंग फॉर यू फ्रॉम द स्टार्ट सो फर्स्ट मूवमेंट विल हैपन फ्रॉम सेंटर टू टॉप लेफ्ट then it will go from top left to top right then it will go from top right to bottom left so let me just play the video center to top left then from top left to top right then from top right to bottom left perfect now let me add a fourth crop effect so go to video effects once again go to transforms select crop and now click on okay now decrease the duration of this crop effect to 2 seconds as well so inside the duration option write 02.000 and now press enter on the keyboard inside the crop effect settings click on this crop tools button now what i would like to do is i would like the movement to continue from bottom left to bottom right all right so i would like the movement to continue from bottom left to bottom right and so the coordinates will be 0 semicolon 50 50 semicolon 50 50 semicolon 100 100 semicolon 100 so inside left i need to write 0 semicolon 50 inside left i need to write 0 semicolon 50 inside top i need to write 50 semicolon 50 Inside top, I need to write fifty semicolon fifty. Inside right, I need to write fifty semicolon hundred. Inside right, I need to write fifty semicolon hundred. And inside bottom, I need to write hundred semicolon hundred. So inside bottom, hundred semicolon hundred is already written. and so now let me play this entire thing for you from the start center to top left then from top left to top right then from top right to bottom left then from bottom left to bottom right perfect and finally i would like to add a final crop effect right at the end and so let me just place my cursor at the end of the fourth crop effect Now let me go to video effects go to transforms select crop and now click on okay Now look inside the crop effect settings and click on this crop tools button Now in this particular crop effect what I would like to do is I would like the selection box to move from the bottom right corner to the entire image all right So for that the coordinates will be 50 semicolon 0 50 semicolon 0 100 semicolon 100 100 semicolon 100 so inside left it will be 50 semicolon 0 inside top it will be 50 semicolon 0 once again inside right it will be 100 semicolon 100 and inside bottom it will be once again 100 semicolon 100 perfect and so now if i just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start center to top left top left to top right top right to bottom left bottom left to bottom right and then from bottom right to the entire image perfect so this is how 
using these coordinates you can perform a coordinated still image movement in vstc free video editor i hope you understood what was going on throughout the tutorial how you can use these coordinates to perform coordinated still image movement if you have doubts you can write me in the comment section below um, this is how you can perform coordinated still image movement in vstc do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching